Well, this morning we were really pleased to be joined by the eight semi-finalists that are going to be advancing towards the final two rounds of the inaugural Junior Chef Cook-Off Challenge that we have as a part of the Food Around Festival this year. So today we welcome them um, and introduce them to the media to announce finally who's made it and who's going to be progressing forward. And we were joined by Chef Peter Eady who is actually leading on this project with us as you guys know him from the Dueling Chefs for many, many years. So we were really excited to have him back in this capacity. He's very excited to be back and to be training these um, young students between the ages of 16 and 21 who have dreams of advancing in the culinary arts. And so he was on hand to talk a bit about the competition and how it's been going so far, and then what we can expect from the semifinals. And the finals are coming up on this Sunday, October 16th. We are also joined by um, one of our sponsors for the festival, Roberts Manufacturing, who was very excited to come on board and be a part of this theme, especially as we're giving back through our theme of Feed the Future as a part of this year's festival. So they were very excited to be here. Um, everybody's very excited to shake the hands and finally meet the eight semi-finalists that are going to be going forward and all around just to celebrate them and this really integral part of this year's Food Around Festival. So at this level we are actually offering three scholarships. Two of them are going to be rewarded at the end of the finals on Sunday to two, the two stop students and they're going to be doing full ride culinary scholarships um, at the Gina Norma Holder um, Institute and then we also are going to have an additional international scholarship which is going to be a announced by the end of the festival at the end of the month and that's going to be for one Barbadian student to go ahead and um, progress on to pursue their culinary degrees internationally. So we're really excited about how the festival has been progressing. It is our first festival in two years and so we knew we had to do it in a way that's going to be really impactful and really progressive. In terms of the events, we've already concluded the first one which was the food truck mashup held in Bridgetown last week and that as if you've been there you saw the huge turnout that it had. We had um, an increase of like 150 percent vendors um, and that corresponded to the wider turnout that we saw as well and entertainment went well into the night. People actually were upset with us for shutting off so early and wanted it to go until midnight. Um, so definitely something we'll consider for future years. Um, in addition we also have our main events that are going to be happening the 27th to the 30th and those have been pacing extremely well especially the breakfast party the Rise and Run breakfast party which is just about sold out um, and we've been you know just overwhelmed by the response that we've gotten and I think what's most interesting for us to see is just how ticket sales are progressing to see such a complementary match of both locals and visitors coming out to support the festival. Um, right now we're looking at something like a 60-40 split um, so that's a really healthy balance of where we want to see the festival going even in the future where we have yes of course supported by locals because this is a festival that we ourselves are putting on but then also bringing visitors as our tourism mandate um, to be a part of that and to enjoy the Food Around Festival with the locals. So we're very happy about you know how those ticket sales are going and and then what it means for us as we take this festival into the next 10 years.